Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike here, back with another uh, quarterback carousel um, face of the franchise video. Um, I simply want to start this video off by saying prayers to DeMar Hamlin and his family. Um, I think we're all kind of feeling that way if we watched what uh, I guess transpired last night, if you will. Um, I'm watching first take in the background. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm sure as most people are right now, trying to get any updates at all um, about this young man's safety so um, and well-being. So, uh, and in no way am I saying this to try to give myself more more of a following or anything like that. I'm not trying to in any way profit anything off of DeMar's I guess you could say misfortunes from last night. Um, I don't want to say it incorrectly and sound like an asshole. Um, but in no way am I trying to profit anything. No likes, no followers, no subscribers, none of that shit. Um, that's not important right now. So, um, but just keep your prayers up for tomorrow. And with that being said, we'll uh, we'll jump into the video. So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down. Here's Chubb again. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. He'll look to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? 
I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Martin, I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. But on that play, they held up quite well. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay, price. How much were they, a dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. Come out throwing here to start the drive. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Second and two. Throw left side, complete. That's Hunt. Two yards on the pickup there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We had a pair of division rivalries in primetime last weekend, week five, and we've got another pair of good ones coming up here in week six. Starting tonight, Cowboys and Eagles from Philly on Sunday night, and then tomorrow, Monday night, football has the Broncos and Chargers from SoFi. That's going to be a lot of fun, no doubt. Kickoff 5.15 local time for that one out in Southern California. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. They'll look to throw here. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. In trouble, and he's taken down. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. They'll set up a throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hunt. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far, and never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. And he 
gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Back to throw here. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Amari Cooper, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns are able to cut into that deficit. That seemed like a much-needed touchdown after 21 unanswered. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Second and 14. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave them with a third down. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. Now he'll throw deep left side. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As a message received. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well, and they've kept them around in this game. Now, they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Now, a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 30. Man, I'm struggling this game. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. I don't know why I'm playing real bad. So hopefully we can still come back and win. Cleveland offense making their way out. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll look to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Hunt. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this, this is random, but did my team pass. make a trade for K.J. Osborne? And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. I felt like that was a really good throw. Pats are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit. He was scores, very open. Start, I got perfect accuracy on the throw. And somehow it's still a pick. He'll try to shake off the Unbelievable. The interception he threw on the previous drive. Okay, ready. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They're going to look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the I know how good that route is because I use it all the time in Ultimate Team. That's why I'm constantly trying to throw it there, and it's just not working. Who knows? If this game's quick enough, I'll throw it too in this episode. Um, Heading out as a Cleveland yeah, offense as they get set to take over here. Back to throw now in his own end zone. And that is gonna be really good at that was not good accuracy, obviously. Or it would have been completed. Where is my C4 energy drink? Second and ten. They'll throw again from their own end zone. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Out of the gun now on third down. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag. Hey, I'll take a DPI on that. This could be a first down. I'll take that all day long. Well, CD, that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit. Give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. And way up past the 35. Am I crazy to think if he breaks that, that he's in the end zone? That's how fast Jakeem Grant is. I don't think I'm crazy to think that. They'll look to throw again. And that is taken in by Njoku. I don't know how that was completed, but I'm not going to complain. So um, into Pat's territory now. Here's first and ten at the 35-yard line. Now this throw caught left side. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not it's sure not this team is going but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Oh, oh, how does that happen every single time? Like, there's obviously a gap there. And as soon as I start to attempt to move, the, the linemen just pinch. Like, do you know how hard it is to scramble up the middle in this game anymore? It's so bad. Offense, Charles, if you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but 
Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Seven catches for him now in this last one. The first down. Now back to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Back to throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Grant. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. And this one is incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Being chased out left. And that is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Browns unable to move it. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone. And the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. I don't even have time to go through my fucking reads, man. Time on second down. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not the lopsided. That had six like written all over it, but I didn't get hit in throwing. for the New England Patriots and we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins who loses this game no exception air free football no turnovers at all and they win it so this is one you Inside yet? I just walked in. This place, bro, is it, legit. You earned it, my man. Congratulations. There's a lot for you to take in. Yeah, but I can already tell you picked me a winner here, bro. Hey, it's what I do. Gotta make sure my guy's properly taken care of. Um, 
I know there's enough time I could fit a second game within an hour, but I gotta use the restroom and give my cat some food and stuff, so um, there will be another video coming out directly after this, so be on the lookout for that. Peace.